Hey folks, this is Adria. Now, have you been wondering about how Google and Twitter are working together? Well, I was writing an email to someone and I was going to tell them about Snowmageddon and how people on Twitter are like, oh my god, it's been Snowmageddon here on the East Coast, right? With these uh, big snowstorms, right? Oh, two feet of snow. And uh, here I am at Google and it says, here's the hashtag Snowmageddon, site twitter.com. Now on the left, this may look familiar. All results, images, videos, news, blogs, you know, adding blogs to search. That was pretty cool back in the day. Having an image area for searching, pretty cool back in the day. But boom, now we got updates. You know, and if you just look at this, this is people on Twitter, just talk, talk, talk. And look at this, new, result, new results will appear as they become available and then you can hit pause if you want. I mean, this is magical. Now, how did I get here? You may be going, well, yeah, Adria, how did you get here? I don't see this part on Twitter. Well, let's go back a page. I typed in Snowmageddon. I didn't even type in the hashtag. We can see that um, I have a result stored on my computer from someone I follow. They were talking about Snowmageddon. Then we got Snowmageddon on Twitter. We got people, you know, with some blog topics. Snowmageddon begins. Right, and then look at this latest results for Snowmageddon. And look, r live right here. I mean, you wouldn't even have to leave the search page of Google to watch this stuff update. That's crazy. So, if you're watching like a Twitter trending topic, which is going by real fast, you know, so then all I did was I clicked right here, latest results, Snowmageddon. And there we go, you know. Look at someone's about to die an agonizing death uh, just three minutes ago. And here's the source. So speaking of source, how cool will that be later on to integrate additional like live feeds? I mean, we know a friend feed got bought by mm, that company, which I'm not going to name. But look at this latest anytime. I mean, this is pretty cool. Now, if, if we search for images, you know, there's going to be a bunch of snow photos. Yep. Videos. Of course, there's going to be a lot of uh, videos. Here we go. Right, and see the cool thing with searching videos is it doesn't just do Google video, it does all video. So we got YouTube stuff, uh, fo I don't know why there'd be a video on Photo Bucket, but sure enough, there is. Flickr, of course, supports video. So very, very cool. And then look at this anytime. Now we got at past hour. So obviously, if you wanted to cover the most recent snowstorm, you would check for the past week. If you wanted to maybe cover a snowstorm from like last January, then you would want to say past year. Okay, but now we're getting into how to search on Google. <laughs> anyway, the point is, folks, if you go to Google, type in a keyword. If you type in a hashtag more specifically, like this, the likeliness um, that you are going to get to see live results from Twitter is quite high. There we go, Snowmageddon. So you could certainly use this at a conference, um, you know, if you're following a topic. This is great. So I'm, I'm just so happy to see the evolution of the interwebs. Until next time, and as always, folks, embrace your inner nerd, and happy holidays.